<laughs> Bowser was Banjo, I'm pretty sure. Dude, was it? Yeah, it no. was Banjo. Okay, yeah, because he went, Banjo went Bowser, then there was like a kid. He was like 14, remember? Okay, yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then there was like a 14-year-old Ryu that used the yeah. Pro Controller with like the craziest controller scheme and just bodied everybody. It Bidu. was insane. He do. He do, right? <laughs> right, I have absolutely. No idea. <laughs> yeah, man, I, my controls are all vanilla, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I, well, I play with some weird ones. I put Y as grab. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, no reason. I just don't use Y. Dude. I just like to intimidate my opponent. Dude, like, get out of here. Put Y as grab, and they're like, what is that? Why are you doing that? Like, I use Y to, like, most people use Y to jump. Really? Right? I'm, I'm vanilla. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Vanilla. Maybe. I'm, I'm vanilla. Well, at least melee players do. I think yeah. melee players use it. But, like, <laughs> every time I, I bind Y mm -hmm. to grab, they like, Okay. Give me the, they gave me the look. They're like, what? <laughs> like, give me a sec. I need to get my control set up. What are you up. doing? <laughs> yeah. Dude, well, I, I think you're going to do pretty good today, man. Uh, I don't think there's too many villagers here today, so yeah. I think you'll be in good shape. Yeah. Okay, but Prophet and um, and Bo's got to get ready to face off right here, man. Uh, so Prophet, I think believe number three player from Iowa, if I'm not mistaken, or once upon a time, four? three? Four now? Four, three, or four. Okay. It's, you're right. It's, it's around there. Okay. Absolutely, man. Super strong player, man. Hopefully he keeps the salt down to a minimum, though. I know sometimes he can kind of... We've seen. Yeah, I, I've seen the salt. Hey, my advice to everybody today, man, if you get a little salt, just go jump in the pool, man. You'll be all right. Cool yeah, off. Yeah, you'll be fine. Cool, cool off, off in the man. pool. Smash the splash. That's what we do. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Bo Scotty, man, a longtime friend of mine. I always try to make sure every time I run into him, like in like whatever major that I'm at, I try oh, to yeah. shop with him a little bit. And I, I know, like, traveling to these yeah. majors, I mean, it puts a hole in the pocket, but oh, yeah. I got to make no, sure I shop exactly. with him as Ada Boy. So. And for those who don't know, he is actually an artist, Bo Scotty, right there. He's about the bottom right corner. Yes, uh, you can check out his art at Scott, Scotty Arts. Yes, sir. Is that right? ScottyArts.com. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can check that stuff out. Please it do. Might not be a .com. Just Google it. Yeah. He'll pop You'll right up. He's on Twitter, too, man. He's, like, everywhere, dude. Yeah, he's everywhere. Yeah. He's, he's everywhere. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right, where are we going here? Let's, we're just figuring out all this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wave C pool. So yeah. Yep. So if you if you're just joining us right now, uh, this is pretty far along in the tournament. So we got like we have like what? How many pools left? Dude, I, just, I like don't three? know. Like three? Like three? I think three. So we're like ha almost halfway done. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a long night ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys don't have anything to do tonight, keep in mind this is like a 24-hour stream. This oh my be, gosh, it is. It's, it's open it's 20, 24 hours dude, it's 20, it's 24 yeah. hours, man. So we're, we're in it for the long haul right, well tonight. We're going into game one on yeah. Final Destination. Yes, sir. Rob versus Nash, Profit versus Bo Scott. Yes, sir, man. That's going to be a very interesting matchup here, man, because he loses his laser here pretty much to Ness because of the side magnet. Okay, now is this a... Okay, this is a button check. Yeah. This is like an intense button check, though. Like. Yeah, and it uh, looks like... Maybe they're possibly on the wrong sides on the top here. Profit is nest. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I see what's going on. But yeah, this is definitely a hand warmer here. Hey, man, and I'm shout out to these guys for the quick hand warmers because some events I've been to, the hand yeah. warmers are like five minutes. And I'm like on the mic falling asleep. I know, right? Like, they go, on, man. No, they put on like two stocks and then they can't pause. Yeah. And then they like, it takes forever to fall off the edge of the map. Dude, I know, right? Just the fall speed on all these characters, man. Mm -hmm. I just want to give a quick shout out to all of our sponsors down there. Share Stock plus Child's Play has definitely been the talk of the whole tournament. Extra Life, Frosty Fossil is coming up in January. Gamers HQ, of course, because what would this event be yes. without you guys? ValorCon coming up, Midwest Land, 20XX Tournament Edition. Like everything that's a part of this, huge oh, yes. thank you to you guys. All right, now we got a game one yes, on, sir. of course, Starterville. Yeah. So, like I previously, uh, previously excuse me, stated, man, uh, the laser is just like gone now. because. I mean, obviously, you know. Yeah, he can absorb his, it. Yeah, he'll just take it just right Yeah, exactly. Uh, and Prophet is definitely one of those guys who is always on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. um, or he, I mean, he's going to dodge most of it, yeah. but uh, in certain situations, for sure. Now, like my, I think my biggest gripe about Prophet, he definitely knows Ness's strong points, but it seems like he's a little unfamiliar with his weak points. So I remember there was a time where he played a DK in bracket, and he just couldn't understand the concept of, dude, you know that you're, you you can't move as he's using his up special off stage. Yeah. And he figured DK with the huge hitboxes just throwing back airs at him. There's nothing he can right. do out there. Right, and that's that's the thing with, with any time you solo main a character. Yeah. Um, it's, I think the, the difference between like a mid-level Ness and like a top-level Ness is understanding that you have to play Ness differently Absolutely. against all different characters. Oh, I definitely you agree, know? man. So, and I yeah, I completely agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, but he looks he's looking good right now. Uh, him and Bo mm -hmm. are even in percent almost. Yeah, man. Looking pretty crispy here, keeping him off stage for the most part. Now, what he's using here is his PK Thunders. He's keeping Rob off stage. So that way, each time Rob uses his up spells, he runs out a little bit more and more gas. Yeah. Because then sooner or later, he's going to have to start using back air to get towards the ledge. And after that, Ness just has him where he wants him. Right. And both, correct Ooh. me if I'm wrong, both these characters have kill, kill throws, right? Pretty we much. Have a, we have a kill throw on Rob here with up throw. Mm -hmm. and I, I, don't, I was killed earlier by the Rob with back throw. So. Seriously? Yeah, I was like, I, that must have been bad DI or something. But Oh, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, he has that uh, that throw, obviously, the sense will clear up to the top. Um, he gets a lot of his throws, too. He has a, I guess he has his own hoo-ha. We'll call it B-boot. I think that's what, what they <laughs> call it with him. Yep. Yeah, they, they call yep, it yep. B-boot. But, you know, Ness gets quite a bit off his grab, too. Down throw forward, especially if your DI is just not crisp. I mean, he, you're right. going to eat, like, right. at least 30%. Prophet's doing something interesting here. I don't see too many masters do this, but they he floats uh, and uses his up B like kind of in the neutral, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something. I wonder what that does for him against Rob. I mean, I guess Rob's a heavyweight; he can't really approach and, and punish that as much. Yeah. Pretty much like a walking, talking hurt box too, for the most part. Yeah. Prophet keeping him up in the air. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Keeping it where he wants him. Now, Rob, obviously, like I just mentioned, into the huge hurt box. He just gets just abused yeah. by aerials, especially from Ness. Ness's uh, aerials are just so crisp and they're just so strong. Yep. Good nair to put Bo Scotty off stage. And look at the down smash. That'll do it. Man. Okay, and that's actually no surprise there. You know, Iowa and Chicago, Illinois, excuse me, like, I just feel like you guys are like brother and sister, like regions. <laughs> you know, if, if does that make sense? The I Midwest, know. the Midwest bands together, and also no one knows about us. Yeah, it's so weird. We're like, dude. We're, we're like the seclusive like cult of Smash. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Absolutely, man. We're definitely gonna come up here. That was a good match right there to start it off, man. Both Scotty just did a very, very immaculate job, and then like just I don't know, Prophet towards the tail end just did some very, very nice adaptation yep. and just yep. brought that one back, man. So go ahead and get a swig of water. We got, we got to get into the next both match, man. Both of them rehydrating. Right. Water's important. Yeah, very important. And we're going, ooh, nice Politana Temple here, the Omega okay. form of that. I know that a lot of people gentlemen there. That's a big thing in Chicago. I think it's the new FD. Honestly, it is. It's and, it's the new FD. and I'm not kidding. It's it's like the only legal form of FD in some in some of the tournaments in Chicago. Absolutely. Like because FD has that really big shining light thing. So uh, we will see Palatina Temple here. Yeah, and I got a hard enough time seeing as it is already. Goodness gracious, but both Scotty having a hard time seeing those fares coming. Yeah. Already at 32 percent, man. Like a little bit over 12 seconds to the match. Yeah. Right, and, that, and that's a big momentum shift for uh, Prophet there. That's going to put him in a in a good mental state. Mm -hmm. Okay, both guys doing a good job of zoning them out, and I'm liking this a lot, man. You just, as much if you can keep Ness away as much as possible, I think you'll be yeah. in good shape. Now you see that right there. I mean, Prophet just did it again. He used that up in the neutral, and this time Scotty punished him yeah. and put him into a, a, a situation like this. So yeah, but both guys having a hard time landing that dare properly. Yeah. You know, uh, both guys just recently got top eight at, I believe, Midwest Mayhem. So I'm hoping that he does really good here today, man, because I really like when both guys he plays in bracket. Yeah. I know that there was like a brief stint where he kind of just didn't know, like, if he was still feeling Smash 4 or right. he wanted to just stick more to art. But I think, you know, the more the merrier. Why not do both, man? Right. And I, I know he had a little bit, I mean, even when he was playing Smash 4 and felt good about it, he was having a little bit of a character crisis. Yeah. I know he's been between Peach and Rob and, and Mario Ooh, and yeah. all these characters. So. Hey, I hear him, man. It's difficult, man. There's a lot of matchups in this game, and 58 characters, it's hard to just stick with just one. Yeah, no, it's, it's almost impossible. Yeah. Oh, and Air Dot is immaculately away yeah. from the B boot. Oh, the no. The Z drop. Oh, well, he's to close this one out. Oh, no. Yeah, Rob's hitboxes in the air are just super huge, too. Man, I got a buddy back at home who mains Rob, and I just I complain so much about short hop Nair and just how much space it clears and yeah. how much it just keeps me away. It doesn't look like it, it's going to hit you, and then it just, like, randomly does. Mm -hmm. No, I completely agree. Oh, nice PK flash right there, keeping that gyro smooth away. Uh oh. Ooh, he actually gets that hit. Absolutely, man. Can punish for that. Ooh, but does take the beam away. Honestly, from that him. does. I mean, at that point, you're like, okay. Yeah, like, it, it is. Really it was 160 to 153 percent. Like, all right. Oh, he needs that grab. Both these characters have kill throws. That they do. And Ness right now is in max star raises. It's very, very scary for both Scotty because one back throw could possibly be enough to do it. Maybe not center yeah. stays, but closer towards the ledge. He's got to use his top. I mean, we're having to see too much with the top, you know? Yeah. Not a lot of gyro gameplay. Yeah. Which is really strange. You know, Rob is one of those characters that everybody plays differently, but that hits the same no matter what, though. You're yeah, out yeah. of here. Yep. Up throw will do it. And Bo is in a, an interesting lead here. I mean, he's got to play that keep away. He's playing a keep away game, like, perfectly right now. Absolutely. I mean, he's definitely keeping profit away, not letting him get any grabs on him. And that might be the difference between both of these two guys. Obviously, like, with a character likes to zone, you know, you play a bit of a slower-paced game. But obviously, with Ness, you can just be very aggressive at certain right. points in times, man. Watching, like, uh, top Ness players, like, Shaky and just full play, I mean, they can get very aggressive, so. Oh, yeah. No, I completely agree. Especially when the matchup's in their favor. And, oh, and especially when, I mean, 
I, I like to say momentum, but I mean it's kind of like a it's more of like a punish game mm -hmm. mentality for Ness. Yeah. Like if you get one good punish, like you can kind of run with that for a long time. Oh, dude. You know, I like Ness agree. just like kind of wrecks you. There it is. Nice up air from Profit to secure that first stock, but he's got 80% on him right now. Yeah, man. That's some slight extra credit, but we'll see how much he's working with here, man. We'll see if he brought his pencil to the class, man. 97%. Still deciding to hang in there. He's going to... Oh, my God. Good grab. That's not good, but he is very good at dodging that. He, he really is, yeah. Idea. No, he... Uh, Bo is not waiting for an air dodge, it doesn't look like. He's kind of robot... robot it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> going for the automatic. Okay, fishing for grabs right now, and I definitely understand uh, Rob's frustration. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean at the oh. same time, though, he's keeping him out. Prof, Prof is looking for some kind of gimp here, it looks like. Yeah, but Prof is going to have to make sure that he keeps his feet on the ground and stays center stage as well, too, because, oh, oh my Ooh. God, that last hit uh, could have landed. That could have been very scary right there for Prof. 145% <laughs> yeah. for Ness right now. This is a very scary place for him to be in. But he does have rage. Yes, he does. So that's, that's also a good thing. Now, how big is this for Profit if he can beat Bo Sky to here today? Oh, I, I mean, know. I, I don't know I much know. about like the Iowa scene in terms of like power ranking and things like that, but yeah. I know Bo Sky is pretty good, and I'm not quite sure if Iowa and Chicago play as much or Iowa and Illinois, excuse me, play as much. Oh no, as Iowa they should. Oh, that oh my nair. god, the nair put him. Mean, he went for the whole thing. That he did. He went for the upbeat. Yeah. Though that would have been hype on stream for the viewers, I'm not quite sure if that was the best option that, right there. I'm going to have to agree with you there. Yeah. Maybe like a drop down, down smash or something, or up smash. Because mm -hmm. he was at a big percent there. I mean, Absolutely, man. Yeah, really just anything to keep Rob out. Mm -hmm. Very interesting game two right there, man. No. Very curious to see how game three is going to go. So where do you see them going here? Okay, so you got Ness. I don't know. I mean, I would see... I can see just a standard like starter, uh, like Battlefield or Smashville. But I mean, if he's really looking for like those those small walls, yeah. You now see, I don't think you'd pick Duck Hunt against Rob. Mm -hmm. You know, you wouldn't pick you wouldn't pick Town and City against Rob. You wouldn't pick Dreamland sixty four against Rob. Yeah. So I think yeah, like Smashville or or, uh, or Battlefield, right? Yeah. Battlefield Maybe back I to FD. Yeah, I could definitely see Battlefield. I could see it be a uh, being excuse me a bit more into Rob's favor. Wow, but Town okay. City. Okay. We're going to Town and City. Super uh, super low ceilings here. Okay. Yeah. So, so I mean, so the beep boop here from Rob is going to be a big deal. Yeah. Especially if he can land that while these platforms are here, man. If he can just screw up Ness's landing and just start landing those beep boops, I mean, he can make this match as quick as possible. Though both of these guys are very uh, prone to kill off the top, I feel like both guys just has a slight advantage here. No, I, I, I do agree with you. I think Profit maybe feels like a comfort pick here as as it's Ness versus a heavyweight. Yeah. I could see that. Like the, the platforms can definitely you can taxi platform and extend combos oh, yeah. for a long time. So um. Yeah, I definitely agree, man. Ness can definitely lay out the kung fu. And what I mean by that, like there's just certain characters who can just combo you to death at low percents, like Ness, uh Mewtwo can do it. Um, pit, Dark Pit, I mean, they really lay out like the high percent is like kills, but it's, yeah. it just seems like though, once the opponent gets like a super duper high percent, then they have to fish now. Now they're fishing for like back throws in sure. Ness's case, you know, they're fishing for like falling up airs, they're fishing for things like that. And if you can take that away from that, could make all the difference in this match. Ooh, Ooh almost. But man, it's not one. Poop. Yeah, not one today though. No, I know, and Profit's doing a really great job of air dodging those. I mean, mm -hmm. wow, nice back air from Bo Scotty. Yeah. Just kind of out, just kind of did it. Mm -hmm. Okay, use the guy right there to space him out, trying to knock him into it. Not quite getting the setup he's looking for. That was a really good use of the top, though. I mean, he, he put him into a really awkward position. He couldn't roll out of that. Okay, now he just hit the guard with the baseball bat, so that is his now, but whoop. Rob's tossing it back at him. He said, I need this, man. This is mine for the taking. Oh, he went for it again. You see that up B again? Yeah, dude. I'm confused. He's going for it all. He's gone for the glory, I guess. I get it. Yeah. Oh, the Nair. He went, he's going for these very hard reads. Yes. Back throw will kill. Absolutely, man. That hits all the same, man. Nice back throw. They're sending him uh, smooth into the blast with the one-way ticket. Yeah. He's in a better position than he was by a little bit last time. And, I mean, a 0%, Rob is going to get comboed pretty well. But Bo's been doing such a good job of keeping him out. Yeah, and not only is Bo Scotty, like, Zoning him out with his projectiles. He's zoning him out physically. He knows this in terms of physicalities. Yep. Ness is just not the longest guy in the book. And he knows that in order to do like any significant damage, he has to be up close and personal. Oh, the beep oh, boop! My goodness. The first one hit today is the last one he'll ever do. Absolutely, man. There it is. Well, as I was saying, man, he was like just zoning him out physically. I mean, yeah. he was doing a lot of fall away nares. There's a lot of fall away back airs. He was really just keeping him out, man. Yeah. He 